Hello, you are listening to the OmniTalk Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with the A&M Consumer and Retail Group, Firework, Trigo, Sezzle, and Silk. All right, headline number four. Nestle launches its first smart direct-to-consumer fulfillment center in China with Alibaba's logistics arm, the KindNow Network. According to an Alibaba company blog post, KindNow supplied 40 AGV robots to replace manual product picking in sorting facilities, which is estimated to quadruple fulfillment center efficiency compared to Nestle's other warehouses, which utilized human workers only. And that is... The fulfillment center will, quote, support Nestle's expansion into the DTC sector while supporting order fulfillment across all of Nestle's e-commerce operations in China, including the Starbucks at home line from the Seattle coffee chain, end quote. And your thoughts on this one? You know, this one. You found this This story. was kind of a dark horse for the Fast Five yeah. this week, but I thought it was important because I think that we need to look at, as we've seen more brands, you know, offering direct-to-consumer fulfillment options, a la General Mills, like we talked to Carter Denson again about uh, back at Grocery Shop. We have to know that, you know, it, that's going to require fulfillment centers and operations to change the way that they've been working for years. It can't just be, you know, sending giant pallets to their biggest retailers. They've got to be thinking about how to execute on these smaller one-to-one orders. And so I think that it's good for us to start paying attention to what Nestle is doing with this move and how they're leveraging these robots. We talked last week too about Super Duper and these are the same type of robots. The the video is pretty cool because right now everything's manually yeah. picked, like going in, grabbing something out of a giant pallet. But these robots are like moving around and making this idea of the a large uh, brand's fulfillment center to be like micro right much micro, smaller in size yeah, yeah. micro i just made uh, up that uh, word yeah micro also, also condensed said, right. <laughs> but but it is really cool to see how they're they're thinking differently and the tools and the robotics that they're using to make this happen so i think this is really cool to stay on top of go check out the video um yeah it is YouTube. pretty neat uh yeah i mean for me my quick take on this is you know you've got the biggest cpg in the world yep in the biggest market in the world mm-hmm Saying direct to consumer is important. Yep. And I think that in itself makes this a big news. Yep. But the implications of the questions I have around it are where does it go next? And that's the important thing here is right. how does this extend Nestle's reach? Does it mean so my questions are does it mean Nestle can flex its e commerce operation better across marketplaces like DoorDash and Instacart mm, in the long run? Right, right. Two, does it mean they can flex it better via dropship on smaller retailers or grocers, e commerce websites Fair. or even convenience stores? Yep. And then third, does it mean that Nestle can sell directly to consumers better off its own site? Which I think is the intent, I, I imagine. But- I think if Nestle's smart, they're looking at all three of these. Yeah. Because there's not going to be, because my last question, as interesting as, as the last one is to yeah. me, it's not as important in, in the long run as the other two. Because you still have the, the question right. of how you're getting traffic to the Nestle site relative to the other places where Nestle sells its products. But the option value alone on all three of those is enough for me to want to watch how this unfolds going forward so well, they're I not like selling them on instagram shopping <laughs> well they could though and that's the thing that's that, that's how this goes right i mean nice dig but yeah i mean that's yes. the point right like yes, yes you could you could yes. and 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 facebook could get the advertising revenue from that's that right as opposed to the sales all the commission things. all the things <laughs>